There is no substitute for thinking ahead, thinking about a big picture, and framing one's, one's research in a quest for a very important goal. Um, because one can easily become bogged down in the daily frustrations of experiments that don't work. And, so, and students, especially, that don't have the experience of seeing a goal through uh, and achieving some big, big eventual result, um, need, need that guidance to know that there's a purpose to what they're doing that fits into a big picture of something down the road. I, I have developed a little technique in my own career that has, let's say, uh, facilitated this. Uh, right at the outset of my career, what I did was I posted uh, reward notices on the, on the bulletin board in my lab for some grand goal, uh, you, know, not a, not a, you know, not the next experiment, but some big goal, achieving some big understanding, some experimental goal. And the reward is uh, a banquet uh, at a fancy resort or a restaurant uh, for the entire lab and for a, a partner of one of, the, one of the lab members. And so after I first posted this grand goal, one of my clever graduate students came up to me and said, well, um, I'm going to collect this and, uh, and, we're, and you're going to fly us all to Paris for, for dinner. <laughs> so I had to circumscribe, it had to be within 100 miles <laughs> of, the, of the campus. <laughs> and uh, these have been grand goals, and they've only been met about six times in my 39 years at Berkeley. So this, this has been, you know, kind of a little, little motivation that I've used to keep people focused on those big goals.